Haiti's poverty and poor infrastructure are causing huge challenges to helping victims of last weekend's deadly earthquake. The devastation there affected a church in our area. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter explains. Bridgeport may be more than 1,500 miles away from Haiti, but the earthquake there hit home for one local church. I was like, are you again? Reverend Dukins Bolier got the news Sunday morning as he prepared for services at Shekinah Worship Center. Bolier oversees a sister parish of the same name in Karai, Haiti, which was destroyed by the 7.2 magnitude quake. It's got wrenching when you think about it. You see people who actually had nothing to begin with, and now they are left with absolutely nothing. Pastor Bolier tells me one church member died in the earthquake and another was critically hurt when his house collapsed on him. I have visited the house before and I know exactly where the house is. The Bridgeport Church is now raising money for food, supplies and medical care. There's also a meeting Sunday about the effort, which Bolier says will include rebuilding the church at a later time. Getting there, it's going to be a logistical nightmare. Karai is in a remote part of the country, difficult to reach even before the earthquake. We don't even realize. For Bolier, the loss of the church comes at a time he was already mourning his dad's recent death. Now that grief has taken a back seat to help those in his native country. Knowing that the people are in great need already, it's going to take every ounce of effort possible on our part to help them out. In Bridgeport, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. If you're interested in donating to the church's effort, we have a link on our website and the News 12 app.